Hello coders, this is Jared with Renaissance Coders and in this video we are going to implement our enemy avoidance functionality. Before we do that though, let's take a quick look at where we're coming from. So far we have implemented the wander, cohesion, alignment, and separation functionalities. So this is what we have so far. You should be seeing something like this as well if you're following along. Okay, so let's go ahead and stop that. Now in this video we are going to have to work in several scripts. The first of which is going to be our member script, of course. We are also going to have to work in our level script. And we're going to work in our enemy script as well. So let's go ahead and open up that one. Okay, so let's actually go ahead and implement our enemy script. It's really short and simple. The first thing we actually need to do here is actually replace mono behavior with our member. And we can also get rid of our start and update function because we only need the combine function here. So we're going to create an override protected vector three combine. And right now the only thing that our enemy needs to do is actually wander. So we can just very simply return our comp dot wander priority multiplied by our wander function. Now let's go ahead and save that. Let's check our scene just to make sure we don't have any errors. Doesn't look like we do. Awesome. Now let's go back to our level script. And inside of our level script, we need to add an additional function. Basically, this function is going to be like get neighbors, but it's going to get the enemies instead. So we're going to add a new public list enemy. And we can just call this get enemies. We need to pass in a member here that we can just call member. And we need to pass in a float that we can call radius. Now this function is going to operate a lot like our get neighbors function. Now the first thing that we are going to need to do is create a new list of type enemy. And we can just call this one return enemies. And we can set it to a new list type of enemy. Okay, and now we want to iterate over those return enemies. So we're, we are just going to create a for each loop here and say for each var enemy in found enemies or sorry return enemies then we are going to do a distance check so we're going to say if vector 3 dot distance we need to pass in our member dot position for the first one and for the second one we can pass in our enemy dot position and we're going to check and see if that is less than or equal to our radius that is passed in and so if this is true then we are just going to add that enemy to our list so we just need to say return enemies dot add okay and finally all we need to do is return let me scroll down here return our return enemies okay cool now let's go ahead and save that let's check our scene to see if we have any issues it doesn't look like we do cool now let's go back out to our script and let's go into the member script. Now for our member script, we will need to add two new functions. So I'm just gonna actually go underneath my separation function here and I'm gonna create a new vector three avoidance function. Don't need any parameters for this one. We are going to create a new vector three here and we, we can call this our avoid vector and again, set it to a new vector three. Now we actually need to get the enemies list so we can say our bar enemy list is going to be equal to our level dot get enemies we're going to pass in this member and our comp dot avoidance radius okay cool now we do want to check to make sure we actually got some enemies so we're just going to say if enemy list dot count is equal to zero then we are just going to return our avoid vector now we do actually need to iterate over those enemies. So we're going to create a for each loop here. And we're going to say for each var enemy in enemy list. Then we need to do something. And I'm actually going to create my second function to do something. So below our avoidance function here, I'm going to create my new function. That is just going to return a vector three. And we can just call this run away. We do need to take in a vector three for our target. And basically what this function is going to do is run the opposite direction from our target. So we're going to create a new vector three here and we can call this our needed velocity and we can set this equal to our position. Make sure you put the, that in parentheses minus our target dot normalized multiplied by our comp dot max velocity. Now we actually need to steer towards our needed velocity. So we are just going to return our needed velocity minus our velocity. 
Okay, cool. Now inside of our for loop, for each loop, we can actually get rid of the comment. And we just need to update our avoid vector. So we're going to say avoid vector plus equals the result from run away. And we're going to pass in our enemy dot position. Okay, cool. Now outside of our for each loop, we just need to return our avoid vector dot normalized. Okay, let's go ahead and save that. Let's go out to our scene really quickly. Looks, whoop, we did have an error, but it went away. Magic. Now the last thing we actually need to do here is go up to our combine function. Where is that at? There it is. Okay, it was actually below. And inside of our combine function, I'm just going to create another new line here, and I'm going to plus our comp dot avoidance priority multiplied by our avoidance function. Let's save that again, go back out to our level now, and let's actually click on our level game object because we do need to give our avoidance radi radius and priority a value. So for my avoidance radius, I'm going to give it a value of 40, and for my avoidance priority, I'm going to give it a value of 700. So really important that we avoid these guys. We actually need to go out to our project and our prefabs again because our enemy right now is set up as a member, which we don't want. So let's go ahead and actually remove the member component and we are going to add the enemy script to it. Again, we don't have to worry about setting any of this up because it's being set up dynamically. Okay, now let's go ahead and save that and let's press play and see what happens. Okay, so we can see that our Enemies are actually avoid are just sort of wandering, but it doesn't look like these guys are avoiding the enemies right now. So let's take a look at our level game object. Look at the enemies. So we do have enemies here. We do have the members. Hmm. Interesting. A mystery to solve. I'll tell you what, let's actually go back out to our script really quickly. And let's change the wander function a little bit just because that's kind of annoying me the way they're all moving upwards all the time. So we're going to go up to our wander function and inside of our target and local space, we're going to copy our comp dot wander distance and we're going to put it over the zero and the X. Let's go back out. They should, they still won't be avoiding, but let's see what's going on here. Okay. Now we can see that they're all sort of moving you know, in the X and the Y, it's a little more random, but they're not avoiding this guy. So let's go back out to our combine function, make sure we didn't mess up something there. Avoidance priority, avoidance, and our avoidance is calling the runaway, which is exactly what we want. Okay, so I figured out our issue, and the issue is actually inside of our level function here and I basically what's going on is inside of this for each loop we are looking at for each var enemy in return enemies okay and this is actually an empty list right now so this is totally useless so we need to actually replace this with enemies and if we scroll up to the top we can see that we are adding all of the enemies to a list here so this is going to look at that top list and then we will add the return enemies as needed. So let's save that now, and now it should function as properly. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, I changed the wrong one. <laughs> so this one should be return enemies. Sorry about that. And this one should be enemies. That's my bad, guys. Now let's save it and go back out here. Okay, cool. Clear that. And now let's press play and see what happens. Now they should be avoiding. Okay, cool. So they are avoiding as needed. Pretty cool stuff going on. So this is the start of the project that I showed earlier in our very first video here, just sort of showing how the AI could behave and what we would be building. So we will try to continue to build on to this a little more if you guys are interested. If you are, be sure to drop us a like and you know maybe write a comment as to what you'd like to see in this vid in this series and we will try to incorporate that let me stop that but that is going to do it for this video don't forget to like and subscribe and as always thanks for watching